sharing our labor and delivery video it is well overdue Nia is now three months old but when you have a baby everything is on their time so this was the day Nia and even still I'm on her time <laughs> this was the day that Nia said mommy can record but we're gonna start the video at my mom's house where my water broke hope you guys enjoy it and we're gonna just jump right in Ain't that right, Mama? We just gonna jump right in. My water breaks on Sunday, November 3rd at my mom's house. And um, I kind of knew I was gonna go into labor. I obviously didn't know my water was gonna break, but I lost my mucus plug weeks before then. I was having bloody show. I was having light contractions, like super, super light. Just basically like Braxton Hicks, but nothing that was very painful. So I knew labor was on its way, but um, I went to the restroom and when I got up from the restroom, I felt a little trickle rush down my leg. So I didn't even know if it was pee or if it was my water breaking. And so I kind of just ignored it, cleaned it up. And then like five minutes later, more started to come. And I'm like, mom, I don't know if I'm peeing on myself or if my water is breaking. So my water has been breaking for the past, has it been like an hour? And look what I have to wear. Where's my charger? Baby's coming. I couldn't keep my um, underwear on because they were soaked. And so I had to wear a pull up. <laughs> and I'm small frame, so I could fit like a pull up for like a big child. Um, I've told my husband to finally leave work. He got off work at 10 anyways, and around 9.30 I told him to finally leave because water i'm saying was good it was coming now it wasn't like splattering out on the floor yet but it was just coming and coming and coming and i kept having to change and um so i called him because i wanted to get home and shower and prepare myself before contractions came so i just told him to come pick me up we went home actually before i jump in the shower i'm like running around with no clothes on trying to still grab stuff together and as i'm running into the living room just it just comes out and that's the one that I was able to catch on camera. So I wanted this baby out and like I said, I'm coming mommy. <laughs> Sorry if this is TMI, but my water just broke. <laughs> and then I jump in the shower. I put on, it's like no point of even putting on clothes because I am like a faucet. And so I don't want to lay in the bed. I don't want to sit on the couch. I don't know what to do. So I'm just walking around. And at this time, contractions still aren't coming. And um, I'm just kind of wandering around and I'm like doing squats, trying to get the contractions to start. And the big, I'm talking like, just imagine like something going swoosh, just falls out of me. And I was like, let's go. Because I'm just flooding the house. So let's just go. It is 11.34 at night. My water, I don't want to say my water broke three times, but it's been breaking since 8 p.m. I had three big gushes and I really don't want to go to this hospital but because I had these big gushes I'm like let me just go check make sure that the baby is okay the contractions are coming but they're not like strong so they're just there baby daddy say hi it's so dark but when we come home we will have a baby baby got a rush we out so we get to the hospital i get checked into triage and um still no contractions like i'm feeling nothing nothing at all still leaking like a freaking faucet um 
and I'm explaining that to the doctors and they're like, we get it, you're fine. So they check me, I'm three centimeters. Um, baby is fine, I'm fine, husband is asleep per usual. And um, my mother and my sister are in the waiting room, so anxious. My sister literally had a bag packed, like she was the one giving birth. <coughs> Come on, baby Thomas. Ah, Here she comes. It's a boy. It's a girl. <laughs> we wait up. And um, so everyone's just super excited, and I'm not nervous at all. Um, I don't feel any pain. So they put me on Pitocin around, I want to say 4 a.m., but that may be wrong. I think I took like a two hour nap, maybe. I really, this is all kind of like a blur, and that's why I should have did this video three months ago. But when you have a baby, it's just hard to find any free time. Eventually I fell asleep and woke up and nurse comes in. She's like, are you feeling any contractions? And I'm like, no. And she points at the screen and she's like checking and she sees them going up and down and up and down. And she's like, do you feel that? And I'm like, no, I do have a high pain tolerance and I wasn't trying to be like superwoman. I honestly just couldn't feel it. So she ups my dose. Um, I take a nap and um, I can't really remember the time, but I'll have it on the clip. But when that time comes, that's when everything got serious. Like I was feeling that pain. This dude literally been asleep during all of the instructions. Like, <laughs> no. Is this water helping? Mm -hmm. You were staying here until two. You what? I was staying here until two then. <laughs> Midwives tell something. Mm -hmm. Another 
birth plan of having to have a natural labor i wanted to try to have a natural labor but i didn't want to put that pressure on myself and all i said was i will do my best i will do my best and i guess i just kept doing my best and doing my best and i just kept fighting honestly and um there was never a time where i felt like I kind of don't even remember. I just was so in the zone that I was just listening to my body. And I remember telling the um, nurses, take the monitors off of me, take everything off of me. I just need to be in the zone. I mean, I was bare naked. That's why we had to stop recording. <laughs> and my mom kept trying to put blankets on me because she knew I wanted to catch everything on camera. But by that time I was like, girl, get it out of here. Like I was hot. I was in so much pain, so much pressure on your butt, and you push, and that's what I knew. I knew it was time to push, and the nurses came in. They were trying to check me, and I was like, don't touch me. I just, and that's when I was really just in tune with my body, and I'm just like, the, and I'm, I can't say she's coming because I didn't know that she was going to be a girl, but um, I was like, the baby is coming. The baby is coming and I felt the baby dropping. Like you literally can feel the drop. And everyone said the transition is the toughest part, but it is the quickest part. And when I tell you I felt every single burning pain, just thinking about it right now makes me want to scream. It was intense. That ring of fire is no joke. It's literally like your vagina is on fire like it's so bad and I was literally wanting to give up there were so many times I said I can't do this I remember my um, doctor saying Paris you are the only one who can get this baby out and once he pulled my hand and uh, allowed me to feel her head I was like okay get into care <laughs> and I pushed out my baby girl you got to push. You got to push. Come on. That's it. Push. Paris, push. 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 Come on. Push. 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 Push.
Michelle Thomas, <laughs> you are not leaving this hospital unless you pee. Big news, America. For a limited time, we can't yeah. yeah. Because we want people to know they're delicious. Yeah. 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 She be trying to make sound talk. Can you believe that? Oh,